The server was shut down due to an unhandled scripting watchdog exception. So, why does this error come? So, um, the main reason for this error is because your script is lagging. As you can see on the top, slow running script detected in behavior pack Skylandia, right? But this actually doesn't crash the server. What crashes the server is if there is a hang or like, um, like a three second freeze, right? If the server freezes, then the server will stop. But this feature is so unreliable that it could basically crash at any given time if you tap out. Like if you like close Minecraft and reopen it, this might occur, which is really shit. And while, uh, while, you c w while I can show you how to make your scripts better, I can show you how to cancel this event so it, this won't pop uh, up anymore and you guys uh, on the, and, and the server won't crash anymore. This is actually quite easy. First thing you have to do is in your manifest you have the three modules that you need for a game test, right? Normally they look like this. The version is uh, I think it's like this or no it's like this, right? So for you guys, the version is always gonna be this, right? Zero, dot, uh, zero, one, and zero. The problem with that is that this doesn't have the system class yet, and we wanna use the system class. So um, we use the bet bet uh, beta modules, and those beta modules already have the system class. Um, note that this will actually change some some things. For example, the entity query options, um, it will change if you have the beta version from a from uh, like a constructible object to like a, an interface, right? So note that some things might change when you use the beta versions of the dependencies. I will always link them down into the description and now we can actually write the code and what we need to do is go into any f in, in any file right in import system note that you can only import system when you have the new uh sys when you have the new uh modules right the beta modules from modeling minecraft right and system is like worlds, it also has events, right? So we're gonna use events and we wanna listen for the before watchdog terminate event. And we can also subscribe to that. And uh, we need a callback, let's call it like event, make it a function. No, I said make it a function, yeah, we like this, right? And we just need to cancel the event with event.cancel. We need to set this to true. And this will prevent the server from showing this. As you can see, if I go back into the world and like try to crash the server now with like tabbing out and closing and reopening it, that's how you normally trigger that bug. As you can see, it doesn't actually crash anymore, right? It, it won't, believe me guys, it won't. And yeah, that's basically it. So, but you're still seeing this slow running script thingy and that's actually where you have to help yourself because um, this just means that your script is lagging uh, and that could be many things like for loops or things that are not, not async that should be async like just simple performance optimization thing is I would recommend uh, well like searching for like JavaScript performance guides or something because there are better ways for some things to do like it's not always better to use a for loop to well do uh, loop through an array sometimes you can use array.find which is faster also there are different ways of looping through an array and uh, some are faster, some are slower. So you need to watch for that one out. So yeah, if um, this only cancels the shutdown event, 
but you will still have this very annoying thing at the top. You can actually disable this in BDS, this weird message, um, but not on the local world. One way to do so, one way to disable this message is by connecting a debugger. I also have a video on that, how to connect the debugger. If you start the debugger and then slash script debugger connect okay host this will actually stop the pack from well showing those thingies because the debugger will pause on breakpoints which is detected as lag and so they just removed it and yeah this is how to get rid of the message although this is not a permanent solution because if I would have quit the wor world and rejoined I would have uh, I would have to connect the debugger again which is not optimal so yeah that's also a thing but I hope this video helped you guys and yeah see you in the next one bye